Hi Year 6, so we're carrying on with Armistice Runner, Chapter 3 today, so we'll find out a little bit about what happens when the family arrives at Gran and Grandad's. Chapter 3. As soon as she walked into her grandparents' house, Lily understood. Things had changed. There were two bin bags in the hall, full of rubbish and tied at the top. The house smelled funny, not like its usual comfortable smell of Gran's home-cooked dinners or furniture polished until it gleamed. Grandad had his arms open wide in welcome, but his eyes looked weary into Lily. His skin was grey and crumpled. Lily felt pain rising from her stomach to her chest. She clutched the present of a wrapped red scarf that she bought for her gran tighter in front of her. What's that weird smell? Tim asked. I've let the place go, Timmy. Grandad tried to smile. Need to concentrate on your gran. I keep the front room, kitchen and bedroom nice. The rest will have to go to the dogs. What have you done to Meg and Gus? Tim asked. Tim, Mum rebuked. It's okay, Grandad sighed. Tim can ask what he wants. There's no point avoiding the truth. Grandad looked at Lily as he replied in a softer voice. The dogs live in the back garden now, in the shed. Keeps them out of our way. The dogs lived outside. Lily had to stop herself gasping. She couldn't believe it. All the time she'd been growing up, Meg and Gus had been in the house. She loved them and they loved her. They felt almost like cousins to her rather than animals, but now they were outside in the cold. Come on in, Grandad said. Gran was in the front room. There was a fire burning in the hearth, a neat stack of tinder and logs next to it, and a painting of hills on the wall above the fireplace. Lily smiled. Grandad was right. This room felt good. This room hadn't changed. But Gran had. She looked smaller somehow. Lily hesitated for a half second before going to give her a hug. Tim stayed by the door and put his hand into his mum's. They sat down in a circle of chairs and sofas. Dad tried to start a conversation with his mum, but she seemed to be half dreaming miles away. After a few attempts, Dad stood up, rubbed his face and left the room. Lily gave Gran her present. Gran smiled when she saw the red scarf but put it aside without a word. Then they had a bowl of soup together in the kitchen. Gran stayed in the front room, a sandwich on her knee. She didn't touch it. Later in the evening, they all sat together again. Grandad, his face flushed, had a bottle of beer and a glass in front of him. Lily sat with Gran, holding her hand. She still hadn't spoken. Grandad asked Lily and her brother what they'd been up to since he last saw them. Lily's been running, Dad announced. Lily smiled. She didn't mind that her dad answered for her. She liked that he sounded proud of her. Another runner, Gran said. Her first words all day. She's a fell runner, Tim laughed. It means she falls over a lot, especially when Abby is behind her. Another runner, Dad asked, ignoring Tim. What do you mean, Mum? I don't remember any other runners. Lily felt her grand's hands close around hers. My granddad, Gran smiled. Your great granddad, great great granddad, Lily. His name was Ernest. He ran the fells. Tell me about your running, Lily. Lily could see that Mum, Dad and Grandad were on the edge of their seats, watching. Grand talking was a big deal. They smiled at Lily to encourage her to ask more. So Lily sat with her Gran. She talked about her running club, how they trained, and the two fell races she'd done last, last year. The old woman nodded as Lily spoke, but Lily didn't really want to talk about herself. She wanted to know more about her great-great-granddad. Will you tell me about your granddad now? Lily asked, remembering how her mum had told her to encourage her grand to talk about her past. She looked at her dad and saw he was watching closely. Oh, he was a champion, Gran said, the pride clear in her voice. Lily leaned forward. Really? Really, her grand said. He won lots of races. It was before the war that he did his most famous run. He broke the record in the fell race here. Lily felt her grand's hand grip tight again. And that record still stands 100 years later. Lily loved the strength of her grand's memories of her granddad. She loved it that she had her fell running in, com running in common with a man, a part of her family who'd lived a century ago. Which war? Lily asked. The Great War, they called it, her grand said. The First. Lily remembered what she'd learned at school about the First World War. The trenches, the mud, the endless fighting that left millions of men dead. But Ernest never ran again after the war, Gran went on. He came home safe, but my mum told me that he never ran again. 
He wasn't injured, but he put his running shoes in his box and closed it and that was it. Fit as a fiddle he was too. Then Gran was on her feet, leaning on Lily to push herself up. Mum? Dad asked. Where are you going? I have to go, Gran said, her voice wobbly with distress. No, Mum, Dad said. We're staying here today. I have to go, Gran said. Home? Lily felt herself go cold all over. Dad put his hand under Gran's arm. This is your home. No, Gran pushed his hand away. Mum, please, Dad said. Lily felt sick. What had she done to make her Gran like this? I'm not upset, Gran insisted, as if she'd been reading Lily's mind. I need to get something for the girl. She screwed up her face. For Lily. I need to find Ernest's box. Ernest's dead. Ernest is dead, Dad said. Oh, I know my grandfather's dead, silly boy, Gran snapped, as fierce as Lily has ever seen her. He died on the 31st of July, 1967, and we buried him a week later in the graveyard at Hawkshead. But I still have his box. If this is my house, then take me up to the loft. No one's looked at his things for years, decades. Inside that box, there's his running boots and log books, his vest, his race numbers, and his medals. I kept them all. I knew one day there'd be another runner in our family. I want to give that box to Lily. Ernest would have liked that. Lily felt a burst of excitement as she understood. She'd not upset her gran at all. It was the opposite, in fact. She'd made her happy. And now Lily was desperate to see what was in the box. So you may have noticed that um, in the box, it says that there's a, there are running logs or log books, which is similar to what Lily does. So she's quite excited. So we'll have to find out in chapter four how uh, what's inside the box and kind of what Lily discovers. But it's very exciting. All right, bye, year six.